in the previous videos we were talking about language components of uh, assembler language um, and they included some useful operators and uh, uh, memory uh, address computations and I still have the picture of uh, examples that we used in that presentation. Now it's the time to take more formal look at memory allocation directives, their syntax, um, and uh, since uh, these directives allow us to work with different data types, um, we also may have to consider uh, situations uh, uh, where we need to um, uh, convert uh, from one data type to another data type and what's uh, at stake and what's involved uh, if the data types have to be converted to, for instance, a larger data type. So let's open this presentation. And uh, of course, in our series of uh, uh, topics, uh, uh, this uh, semester, uh, we are dealing with integer data types. So uh, integer data types involve um, um, ideas of how you allocate data, um, what are the data types that are available, what are the sizes of these data types, uh, how could you possibly store in your memory pointers to objects in memory, right? In other words, how would you uh, find the, uh, how would you compute the address and store it in memory uh, and then uh, more examples of move instructions that deal with different data types and sizes um, and also sign extending uh, issues so like uh, in high level programming language uh, in assembly program we also would like to have variables and uh, uh, our variables are simply created by data allocation directives. So the idea of assembler is that uh, the, the primary role of creation of a variable is actually allocating space for it. And then also there comes initialization. Um, so this is why instead of variable declaration, we call them data allocation directives, which reserve space for our variables. So let's scroll back to the examples with these operators that we used, for instance, in our constant data segment um, uh, variables. And uh, these are examples of uh, uh, these data allocation directives, byte, word, and double word. Okay, And uh, because um, uh, Microsoft MacroAssembler has long history, um, these are uh, the allocation directives that were added to the language later but uh, their earlier versions were db to define byte dw uh, to define word uh, also dw uh, dd to define double word and again uh, db and uh, uh, db like this so those are a little bit more cryptic and i prefer to use the the later uh, versions of uh, these data allocation directives. The bottom line is that uh, because the latest is more descriptive wording, uh, but uh, the idea is simply that we have some sort of data segment and we want to start populating it with values, which of course are taking space. And how much space is determined by the type of the data allocation directive. So I'm just going to uh, undo my changes and bring back the uh, I think the more friendly version of uh, these directives, but uh, both are available. Okay, so um, so this is um, uh, so the idea behind DB, DW, and so forth is abbreviation for defined bytes, defined words, and uh, original words were just 16 bit. Uh, and it was the native uh, 16 bit mode when this assembler syntax was uh, put in place um, and uh, it discusses here that uh, you don't have to use specific values to initialize 
your uh, ver uh, your values uh, when you create them you can actually use uh, question marks like this right so which we demonstrated already in our uh, duplications okay now um, uh, there is one issue with uh, byte ordering in computer uh, memory so we're going to um, experiment with um, uh, with this uh, code um, and uh, let's uh, open uh, this asm uh, example right here so what we do is that we have some memory allocation and we'll try to to use a small example of a move um, uh, instruction so for this uh, exercise i would like to clean the result of previous build then basically close the solution and uh, make a copy of this solution and rename it okay so uh, i will remove the, the result of the build right here and uh, clear these subfolders okay so only uh, some of these uh, subfolders only example and source remaining and now i can make a copy of this folder copy and paste and rename it to be week eight okay so we will reopen the solution right now i'm not going to use those examples so examples can be deleted from here as well this is the location of our project file open project solution and i'll just copy and paste or i can jump there uh, like this so uh, week seven so this needs to be renamed notice it 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 fails over to x64 after copying after removing uh, results of prior builds so let's fix it and switch to x86 otherwise we're going to get all sorts of strange errors and um, here we'll uh, um, view solution explorer and uh, finish uh, renaming so that should be week 808 eight, like this and the name of our asm file as well okay so we open this now um, this is called uh, our presentation is called uh, data types and memory allocation so we can use this for our title of course this is week eight um, as in. now we can close solution explorer and uh, now uh, remove uh, previous code just to go back to the empty shell program with just a single return instruction so very uh, very much uh, back to um, original version and So in the data segment, we're going to use some of these byte word and double word allocation directives like this. Okay, I'll just bring this back to the, uh, to the beginning of my uh, white space indentation. And uh, these are a couple of uh, move instructions that we're using in this sample like this. Okay. So uh, let's see what what the sample is asking us to do. Uh, basically, uh, the idea is that uh, a single byte is the smallest addressable unit in computer memory. However, word, which is 16 bit, two bytes, and double word, which is 32 bits or four bytes, those are a multi byte integers in computer memory and uh, we need to be able to uh, examine uh, exactly how uh, these values are stored 
uh, all of these uh, um, uh, integer values are stored physically in computer memory. 